is Airac faking his videos? Okay, so I wanted to talk about this. There's this video by a YouTuber named Soggy Serial called Airac the King of Faking Content. So real quick, if you don't know who Airac is, Airac is a Mr. Beast type of YouTuber, same sort of genre over here. Very successful, 15 million subscribers, millions of views every video. And at the start of December, he made a promise to his audience. He said he will be filming and uploading 30 videos in 30 days as a way to sort of end off the year, right? 30 videos in 30 days. And if he fails a single day, then Mr. Beast will actually delete his channel. There's a video here called, I have to delete my channel. Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe, uploading 30 videos in 30 days to make the most of every second that we have left. Now, I've taken on tons of huge challenges in my time on YouTube, but this is something bigger that I don't even know if the mafia is ready for. I'm gonna be circling the globe over the next 30 days, ending in New York City on New Year's Eve. You guys are invited. But if I miss a day, my channel and all of my videos get deleted forever. You think I'm lying? I gave my personal laptop and my password to Mr. Beast. Spoiler alert, he is lying, but. Who is right. dying to delete my channel. I literally have his YouTube channel and I promise I will delete it if he skips one day. Doesn't matter if I'm in the Swiss Alps, the deserts of Dubai, small town in India. I have to upload 30 videos in 30 days or I lose everything. Let the countdown begin. All right, very dramatic, got the expectations set up. Only problem is, turns out half of these videos are actually pre-recorded and there weren't any stakes ever. Turns out, big surprise here, his channel was actually never, ever in danger of deletion and he's basically been misleading his audience the entire time. Now, pretty much nobody would have a problem with this if he was just honest with his audience, but for some reason, in all of these videos that he's uploading, he acts like he's filming the thing on that specific day, essentially just lying to his audience and uh, making it seem as if he's actually doing these things in that time frame, uh, making it extremely dramatic there. But it's pretty disingenuous to do this considering there's a guy who's found uh, many loopholes in all of these videos, essentially showing that some of these videos were recorded months in advance. Basically, Eric wanted to emulate Ryan Trahan and his whole Penny series where he would upload uh, 30 videos in 30 days. And Ryan's series was actually pretty authentic because he would upload it a day later and obviously it takes a day for editing, so that is forgiven there. But Eric filming like half or maybe even all of the videos, I don't know, in advance is just absolutely ridiculous. Now, Eric actually responded to this whole situation, which we'll check out later, but shout out to Soggy Serial. Let's check out this video. Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me. No, you can count on me to not fake videos. Unlike almost every other creator on the platform. I feel like I just started 100 beefs. Not sorry about it. Oh boy, that uh, that did not age well. Eric proved it himself in 13 out of so far 14 released episodes of his Around the World in 30 Days challenge. That's a ridiculous ratio there. If 13 out of like 14 or 15 videos you've uploaded are fake and have been filmed in advance, then there's absolutely no stakes to this entire challenge here. And you can argue that anybody above the age of 12 already knew it was fake because no YouTuber with 14 million subscribers is gonna be deleting their channel. There's some YouTubers YouTubers with integrity who actually follow through with it. For example, I don't know if you guys followed Unis Honest and Markiplier and uh, Crank Gameplays or something, but basically they recorded videos uh, for an entire year and they promised their audience that at the end of the year, they will be deleting their channel forever. Now, this channel that they did got so many views, absolutely insane revenue. The amount of merch they sold from that was absolutely ballistic. They could have kept it going People would probably have no issue with it at all, but they stuck to their guns. They were honest people and they stuck to their word and they deleted the channel. That was something absolutely unfathomable. And I gotta I gotta give them props for that, for actually falling through their word. Lying like this is just not for forming a good relationship with your audience, you know? People who don't know Eric, he's a challenge slash prank YouTuber with over 14 million subscribers and has been crowned by Mr. Beast himself as the next YouTuber who'll reach 100 million subscribers. Like, I think Eric shares that same, like, just almost dumb, right? Like, you have enough money where you just don't have to work anymore, but you keep going because you I think he's the next person to get 100 million subscribers. And he has had a few slip-ups over the years, you know. He's had his staying on an island until I get 1 million subscribers challenge. Or I will die on this island. I'm literally not leaving until we hit where a million. Where you could 
clearly see the city skyline in the back of his video. Or the video where he exposes strangers for lying. Nice yes. to meet you, that's a good shake too. Even though one of the strangers coincidentally happened to be a Darman actor. The classic slip up of having a Darman actor in your videos. Ay ay ay. Iraq fakes his videos, lives to regret it. Oh boy. Small slip ups. Little tiny hiccups. Some innocent stuff you could get away with. It's whatever. Uh, but now, with your fake 30 days challenge, I think you took it a little bit too far. Sure, your content is of high quality, it's it's really entertaining, but you're also really manipulating and exploiting your audience, dude. And you know what you should be scared of? Oh, oh my. Not going to Arak.shop and getting one of these hoodies before the end of the 30 day series. That would be tough. Three minutes into the first episode where the cracks already started to show. There's some kind of parade happening. All the roads around here are closed down. This is not something I anticipated, but we might have jumped out. Because this? Well, this is the Dublin Services Parade, which happened on September 2nd. Oh my god. September 2nd! Oh my god, that's two months. If you're doing a December challenge and your video is filmed in September, what the hell is the point of this? Man, I don't like this. I don't I don't like people just misleading their audiences like this. I feel like you're you're setting those false stakes and whatever. And you know, you might be like, ah, his audience is all kids, they're not gonna care, but you still at least gotta keep your word and not just blatantly lie about whatever is going on there because they'll use the 30 day challenge for a bunch of other things like oh only only 30 days to buy my merch and shit but you're not even following through with the difficult aspects of the challenge being that you have to film all that footage and then send it to your editors and having them edit it in that one day and get out a good video in that one day and he can do it he literally has infinite money infinite employees and you still couldn't even do the challenge properly like that's that's just embarrassing man but if you go to episode three and pause right here, you can clearly see the 12th September timestamp on his watch. <laughs> Maybe oh his watch was just malfunctioning throughout episode 3. And Santa will just give him a new watch for Christmas. Wait. He's in Switzerland? And there's no snow? In December? And why is he eating meat that expired on the 18th uh? of September? Yeah, so in episode 4, we mm. see him take out meat that has expired 3 months ago. Now, since his follow-up video was entitled, I'm in the hospital for lethal food poisoning. Mr. Beast, please don't delete my channel. I presume he started filming this challenge at the start of September, giving Eric an entire 3 months head start before even starting his 30 day series challenge on YouTube. Bro got a 3 month head start ain't no way the entirety of september entirety of october entirety of november you'd think he'd be competent enough to get rid of all this sort of evidence not point out a goddamn parade fix his watch or something but he knows his audience is stupid enough to not realize any of these things and he's probably never going to address this unless it gets big enough he has put, put a comment in the comment section but obviously that's not really addressing it to his audience right obviously like any other youtuber he's only going to make a video on it if he gets enough backlash on it right starting december 1st I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe. But see, that's what I thought at first. Uh, but now that we're at episode 14, I realize that this isn't even a challenge he's actually doing. Instead, it's one big lie to, what I think, boost his views and manipulate his audience to increase limited merch sales. And oh boy, do I have proof. It's definitely more insidious considering your audience might even be buying this merch on the fact that, hey, this is a limited challenge. I really want to support this challenge. I like that uh, a creator I watch is actually putting his channel at risk, which is why I'm going to buy the merch, right? And it's like you're taking advantage of that trust and basically just crushing it here, man. It's very insidious. Like, I know some people might not think this is a big deal or whatever, but merch sales definitely add to it for sure. Before we noted his entire first six episode, his traveling through Europe in a straight line challenge within his traveling around the world in 30 days challenge has been filmed back in September. But the manipulation and deceit still gets worse with every single episode. See, from episode 7 on, the credibility of his series just falls apart completely. Yeah, he tries to manipulate the viewer by saying he almost missed today's upload. We almost missed our upload window, and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously, some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre-produce. So luckily, I shot this video right before we shot the series in case of a moment like this. Guys, oh my god, I just, uh, wow, I almost missed this upload. Not like I have 15 videos ready 
in the back. And we we just we just filmed this right before like it was actually November 29. I was just pre-planning real quick. You filmed it in September, you lying piece of shit. And the only reason, as this guy will go on to explain, he's actually admitting any of this is because Ryan Trahan is gonna be uploading a video in which it pretty much exposes that he wasn't there at the correct time. Fine, right? Uh if he was being truthful, see him only admitting that for episode seven subconsciously enforces the fact that all the previous episodes were actually legit and he was just too busy working on those that he needed to use an emergency video today for episode seven even though <laughs> so far one to six have been on a three month buffer as well and oh look more manipulation tactics uh, there's literally zero excuse for this because he's pretending he only had one video and save for this when he's been faking the entire thing majority of it 95 percent of it so technically the beginning 25 percent of his entire series so far have been emergency backup videos a great way to start the series dude um and spoiler alert his next videos are lied about as well the logical Jesus reason Christ. why he only admits in episode 7 that it was entirely pre-recorded is because of ryan trey love his videos he uploaded his version of the same exact shrek swamp video about a month and a half ago so eric knew he wouldn't be able to get away with claiming this was part of his challenge see i'll get back to episode 8 in a bit uh, but first we gotta jump into episode 9 where at the start eric claims that they've just flown 3900 miles from southern italy to dubai we have traveled 3900 miles to visit the world's largest water park in dubai yeah! Uh, remember Southern Italy, where episode 6 ended in about the end of September? Yeah, you know, so that's fair. He's still continuing the challenge. It's just a little bit earlier. He just did it a few months ago. I mean, that's what he tells us or tries to make us believe in episode 8. We spent the first week of this episode going in a perfectly straight line across here. That's what we've been doing for the last six days. You guys can go watch the videos. But that's what we've been doing for the last six days. You guys can watch the videos. That's actually exactly what we're doing. You're such a snake, bro. Bro is such a slimy meatball over here dude how does he have a crew the entire crew just goes along with this fake shit bro anyway during the flight itself you can clearly see on several occasions that the plane never left southern italy it left houston usa you can also see hey, the flight yo. plan over here dude and this guy i don't know how this dude is finding all this shit like the fact that you have to sit through these air rack videos and look at the the screen in an airplane over here props to this guy go go sub them for sure this is pretty insane but man just explicitly lying about the flights in the video and then not even taking the care to edit it out it's just sloppy work here dude as a geographical expert i know that this is europe and you know where the arrow is originating from well that's america and you can see the arrow is going all the way to dubai and that's the power of geography baby but a flight from Italy to Dubai is about 5 hours and 50 minutes. While a flight from Houston to Dubai is about 15 hours. Now I don't know why you would go through an entire 14 hour flight from southern Italy back to Houston, USA to make a tiny little pit stop and then go on a 15 hour flight all the way to Dubai. In a very time sensitive challenge where so far he even had to upload an emergency video. We almost missed our upload window. Because he didn't have enough time. Well in episode 10 where he spends a <laughs> Oh, at a very expensive hotel. Uh, you can see a news report from CNN on the TV about an event that happened on November 21st. About two months after he arrived in southern Italy. Oof! Oh, man! Oh! Oh! Jesus, buddy! Ay, ay, ay! This is not looking good for you, Iraq. Oh, my God. Two Getting months! Getting cooked! But hey, grab a hoodie before you run out of time! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I gotta sit down for a little bit. Oh so, yeah. boy. His first seven videos don't just have nothing to do with the around the world in 30 days challenge because they were filmed three months ago, even though he tries to make us believe they weren't. This also proves he never completed the challenge in 30 days. He didn't even complete it in 90 days. And now it turns out that his Dubai videos have been pre-recorded for at least 20 days before upload. So far, I've talked about the first 10 episodes, one third of his challenge, and every single one has been pre 
pre-recorded for weeks or months. Dude couldn't even do the 30-day challenge legitimately. Like, I understand, you know, you're scared of your channel being deleted or whatever. Like, obviously, your fan base is not going to be mad at you for not deleting your channel, buddy. But just being honest with them and being authentic with them as to how you're filming these videos, it's just something you should be doing by default, dude. Pulling these scummy tactics to get more merch sales and to make it more dramatic. Like, definitely let the YouTube algorithm virus go to your head. You're more robot than human at this point, man. God damn it. It's all it's all about those views, all about that money, all about... God damn, dude. See, in episode 11 and 12, he takes us to Australia. And this time, his flight actually was from Dubai to Australia. Uh, but these episodes, one third into the challenge, still haven't been filmed in December. See, I found some Instagram posts featuring Eric and Cooper PD, the oh underground inn featured in episode 11. Um, and this was posted on November 27. More than 15 oh, days. Exposed by the fans, the worst way to go out. Ay, ay, ay. While someone posted the picture about episode 12 on November 26. Let's jump into episode 14, where he flew in 50 a competitive lot eaters into LA this morning. to see if they can eat up an entire buffet. Um, and I knew that at least one of these 50 competitive eaters would slip up and post at least something about the Eric video on the day of filming. I uh, see one of them posted an Instagram reel and a YouTube video about it on November 18th. We're about to go get some food. Which November is not only 18. before the Australian videos take place, but is also before the Dubai video. Bro, what is this timeline? What is this guy doing? You know, if you just did the 30 day challenge in secret in September or October or whatever, and then posted it in December, at least that would be somewhat okay. If like, at least you did the challenge, but you didn't do it live because you were scared of your channel getting deleted. That's fine. But you didn't even do the challenge, bro. You were just out here. You're just like mixing up timelines, doing all this shit. You were just going at your leisurely pace. You shouldn't have even, even done this challenge because you don't even have the integrity to actually follow through with it. You've just been filming videos normally. This is so scummy, bro. I, I, this is so scummy. What are you doing, dude? What, is one month of increased merch sales and views worth all of your credibility as a YouTuber? Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me. It well, triggers so far me. you've released 14 episodes of this challenge and I've proven that you faked 13 of them. Side note, episode 13, 14, 15 and 16 have all been recorded in Los Angeles, uh, which if you don't know is where Eric lives. Now I might live here in Los Angeles, but so he's barely even traveling at this <laughs> point. <As Mr. laughs> faked all the videos. The only videos he actually filmed were literally not even leaving his hometown. Aim no way, bro. You're so rich. You don't even have to make Make videos anymore like you have enough money where you just don't have to work anymore but you keep going so i assumed you still made them because you love making videos and you love your audience nah, or is it really bro. just a numbers game to you where you want more subscribers and more money through merch sales and we're only making a limited quantity of these and they are gone forever you've spent more than i'm not gonna believe you iraq i don't believe they're limited now because you've been lying to complete your 30 days challenge 30 days to make it around the earth upload a video on this channel every day for the next 30 days and if i fail you will delete my channel yeah start the countdown and you're still going until december 90. 30 which gives you a total of about 120 days to bruh bruh <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no oh my god this guy this guy just cooked you dude there ain't no coming back from complete this complete your 30 days challenge so um eric uh buddy pretty sure that mr beast is allowed to delete your channel now since you have completely failed this i'd challenge. say delete your Roaming channel that's like beast to add if you're being honest challenge. bro so, so here we have Eric's response to the situation yo appreciate the feedback bro we are out shooting the series as we speak but as i mentioned in the videos some of them were shot before the series so we could give ourselves a head start to edit and make the videos as good as possible biggest lesson is to more clearly communicating upload every day while i travel around the world i think i could have been more clear in the exact constraints for sure appreciate the feedback a bunch and i hope you guys enjoy the back half of the series bruh what an absolute non-response dude what do you mean is like well uh we gave ourselves a head start you didn't even do the challenge bro what are you talking about head start all of them were goddamn fake hey man appreciate the response as i said in the video your content still is really entertaining high quality and enjoyable but there's a difference between saying some videos are pre-recorded and only admitting that in the ones that are repost which your audience would have found out like the ryan trahan one and almost all of them 
being pre-recorded or saying that you went from Italy straight to Dubai and make us believe you're not failing at the Mr. Beast Gave Me 30 Days Challenge around the world. Even though there's a two to five month gap between filming these videos. Completely understand deleting your channel is obviously not a business move you do, but she indeed have not said that. Okay, I just think it's unfair towards creators like Ryan Tran who did legit challenges with only a two day buffer. And this is never my intention to take away entertainment for your fans, just to inform them in an entertaining, transparent way. What a beautiful way to say I don't care. In fairness, the announcement did say you'd upload a video every day, not that this would be recorded. It was pretty heavily implied that you do the latter. And in the videos themselves, he does act like they were filmed on those days as well. The challenge said daily uploads and Mr. Beast gave me 30 days to travel around the world since he's still traveling 90 plus days later, meaning he failed the challenge. Anyways, the lesson here is just to be honest with your audience and not lie to them. You know, it's just, this is not a cool thing to do. Let me know what you guys thought. Is it really that deep? I don't know. Let, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.